Oh, what, well, he's taking a break? Uh, he's taking a break until a date in February. The courthouse is being closed because of the stuff. Because of the what? Really, all put out February 18th. No, you're kidding. No. Just because of this? Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> they delayed the verdict? They closed the courthouse and set a date for February 18th. Well, I guess I'll come back tonight. I'm in Utah. Oh. Wow. Right. This is, going to, this is what's going to be the drag. It's a bunch of bullshit. Is that we're not going to have the same kind of crowd that we had last night and today. Won't it's, be the it's same. Outrageous. It's outrageous. It's outrageous. Yeah, they're out there on the corner. Okay. So. You got to be kidding me. You don't see anything like this in Utah, do you? No, no, this looks exact. Yeah, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go skiing. <laughs> no, this is exactly a, I, this is a Utah winter day to a T. But the, our court system. Uh, so how far along were they in the process? So Dan, did you bring did, did Mike or Megan or Greg get to testify yet? No, they stopped short of the three of them doing their allocutions. Oh. So that didn't happen. That will happen when we reconvene. Uh, I'll be back. Tomorrow for morning, which is extraordinarily unlikely, I think, considering the weather. But also, um, the judge has said February 18th is the next date, unless he gets snowed in in the morning. And uh, no, the uh, the three. Um, the three who are being sentenced haven't given their um, orations yet, and I think there's more business that the court wants to pursue, and evidently the judge thinks he's going to spend some time asking no, questions. Thanks. Um, <laughs> well, you know, the playbook, I'm an old activist from way back, but September or January 28th seems to be the day they love, because, you know, I was on the San Onofre gig, and they did the same thing to us and pushed it to the State of the Union address today. It's, yeah, it's their playbook, and they're not very imaginative. But they don't want to martyr Megan. This petition I started has half a million signatures. The whole world knows this story now. And you know, wow. they're looking they're looking for wiggle worm. There's no doubt in my mind they're looking for wiggle room. Well, we'll see what happens in February, but we have a couple more weeks to make our own uh, you know Well I appreciate all your work that you've done. More, Introduce more yourself. My name's Paul Magnol. I'm from yeah, Washington, I know D. Paul. I know all about you, Paul. I'm Kevin Blanche, by the way. Okay. We've talked email back and forth That's for right. nine years, but I, I got to tell you how much I love you guys, and how much I appreciate your hard work on this. You've been, you've, you've done great. It's been a long, serious year and a half of trying to support these three, and you know, try and underscore and amplify what it is they've had to say, and continue to say about Y12 and its uh, law, you know, lawlessness. Absolutely. Um, that's the Outlaw Project, and uh, you know. And if it's not tomorrow, then in February we'll tell them that again. Yeah, yeah we're not going to give up. You know, they can freaking string us along all they want, but right. let's just hope Megan's okay. You know, she's been in that holding facility, 55 degrees. You can see that Al Jazeera interview. She's sniffing. I had a long conversation with their niece. Well, you know, they moved her into uh, the city jail, which is a couple of blocks from here late the other day, and she seems to like that a little bit better than she was like Docilla, so we're happy with that, but now it looks like she's going to be here for the better part of a month. Um, I can't imagine that they would move them out of uh, Knoxville area in the, in the few weeks between... Now, you have experience with the Knoxville jails. What do you think? You think she's going to be okay here? Where they have her? They're going to keep her locally in the Knoxville jail. In Knoxville? Yeah, right here. They got her right here. Knoxville's a federal hope facility. Well, they're not. It's not, but they delayed it. The, the, the transit can be so slow that it would be really foolish to yeah. even try to take them back. They'll keep her here. It's very unlikely they can. Yeah. You know, anything's possible, but it's very With these guys? Wow. I can't believe this played out like this. And they were there for a while after the arrest, you know. It's outrageous. Hey, thank you guys so much. Hey, well, you want to get on camera with me for my vlog? Now, tell, tell us your name. Janice Sevra Dushinska, Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, so not too long, I'll be moving to Baltimore. Now tell them who, what you are and what you do. Uh, I'm an ordained Roman Catholic woman priest of over five years, and I'm also a peace and justice activist. That's my main uh, ministry. Yeah, you're great, by the way. <laughs> well, this is this is outrageous the way it's played out in my book. It's outrageous, and I'm worried about Megan now.
I really am worried about her. Oh. You know, sticking her. They're playing this dog and pony show. Yeah. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. Yeah. Well, I've got it out. You know, I'll stay till tomorrow, and uh, they're not gonna push me back on it. And if I gotta come back in February, I'll come back in February. Yeah, we we all will try. We all will try to get back here because it's really important. I mean, just I mean, why didn't they just do it from tomorrow morning? You know, yeah. if they're afraid, that's not so bad. Well, my personal feeling is there's a lot of attention on Megan. They're trying to score me. They don't want to martyr her, and they're playing games. There's no doubt in my mind. Uh huh. So, but anyway, yeah. I appreciate all your work. I appreciate everybody's work. My vlog will get this out there. Yeah. There's you a lot of attention. I've got a lot of attention on this in the world, but yeah. what a metaphor it is today. It is. Snow enough. So. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Take care. Blessings. Yeah. Take, mm, take care. I'll see Send you me soon. An email. I will. Thank you, guys.